Hello, hello everyone. Thank you for tuning in. For those of you that don't know me, my name is Ashley Bradley, Ashley Nicole, whichever. Um, and I really just wanted to hop on because I have been in the network marketing profession for over six years now and I have reached the top of the top 1% of the company in my first company and I've already ranked quite close to the top in my second company once I left my first company because I changed due to alignment and I didn't feel that I was aligned with my last company. But I wanted to hop on and share some tips with you all because there is a lot of new people that come into the profession and, you know, some people tell them it's easy and that anybody can do it and you know so I want to give some tips to maybe help somebody and I want you to understand when you come into the profession you need to find a mentor you need to find someone that has a lifestyle that you want and mimic them and this could be multiple people but follow them look at how they do things what they're doing every day like are they showing up live on Facebook or are they doing Facebook lives you know mimic the things that they do you want to be like a silent stalker um, you know you may you don't have to necessarily speak to them you can always reach out and ask a couple questions of course but you don't have to speak to someone all the time or be messaging them every day or even every week for them to be your mentor. So I want you to stop worrying about what other people are thinking. You know, just hit the live button and go live about something because you can always help people in some way, shape, or form. You can help them and, sorry, Jaden, grab her please. Sorry, I was like, of course, when I go live, she wants to start fussing. But I want you to stop worrying about, like, if you go live and you're like, and nobody showed up, nobody commented, nobody said hello, nobody talked to me, or if you see only one viewer when you're on your live, don't worry about it. It's not for that. It's for the replays. And no matter what, if anybody comments or doesn't comment, somebody is watching you all the time and you're an inspiration to them in some way, shape, or form if you're a link to your people. If you are on live, you are speaking to your people and the people that don't care what you have to say aren't your people. So it doesn't matter anyway, right? So uh, another thing is, is I want you to stop comparing yourself because your journey is your journey. We all didn't come from the same backgrounds. We all haven't had to overcome the same obstacles. So your chapter one, you can't compare to someone else's chapter 10 or 20 or 30 and so on and so forth. And I want you to stop comparing because it is the thief of your joy and happiness. And you know, you may feel like you're not going anywhere when in actuality, you're a lot further along than what you probably think you are. And there's other people that are just like you. And we all start out with zero sales. We all start out with zero volume. We all start at ground zero. And some of us are going to get there faster than others. And when you're watching um, me, I am six years of failures and failures after failures but the thing is is that I take those failures and I use them as tools to help me grow because I learn from them and I pivot off of them you know like if this didn't work I'm gonna go this way and try this if that doesn't work then I'm gonna try this you know there's no right or wrong way and the hardest part of your business is gonna be starting your business um, you know, launching your business is the hardest part of your business. And that's what upsets me the most is when I see people join, um, their business, they go all out and they go real hard and then they, they just stop. And I'm like, Oh my God, you made it through the hardest part. Like launching your business. If you could just keep going, like your business is eventually going to get to the point where it coasts along and you just 
do these certain steps every day and it's going to get easier and you're going to get better and you're going to get faster and it's going to take less time to do those tasks every day. And, you know, then people are going to tell other people about you and you're just going to get random friends and random sales and referrals and, you know, things start to all come together and, you know, what may take one year for one person might take five years for another person and that's why you hear that saying a lot in this industry, like, <clears throat> network marketers live... Like, would you live five years of your life uncomfortable to live the rest of your life like most people dream of, you know? And most people will watch you, but they're watching to watch you quit. It, I know it sounds crazy, but people are always going to watch you and some watch you hoping that you fail. So why not prove them wrong and be a success story? And your friends and your family aren't going to be the people that are always cheering you on. And, you know, you might be lucky to have that. But the people that support you most are going to be, uh, like, complete strangers. I've had more people in my life that I've met as strangers support me and become, like, my best of friends. I'll never forget when I left my state job doing dentistry um, in January of 2017. I did dentistry for 10 years. I had a state job, benefits. I was getting 21% in my retirement. And my mom looked at me like, you are a damn fool. Why are you walking away from a secure income with all these benefits with 21% going into your retirement account and you're just walking away and taking a chance. And I'm like, because I'm betting on me and I know what I'm capable of and I've literally doubled my income from what I was making then. I'm not working for someone else that doesn't want me to take off and go on vacation. I'm not working for someone who is like, oh, is your kid really sick when you call in sick or are you just call it in sick? For somebody who wants you to work overtime and that in turn is comp time and they don't want you to use that time, you know, so it's just like you have to sometimes take a chance and bet on yourself and growth happens outside of your comfort zone and your first thousand dollars is going to be your hardest money that you make in network marketing and your second hardest is going to be that ten thousand dollars because once you have hit that ten thousand mark you are doing things that make you uncomfortable you're paying off debt people are going to be able to see your joy and they're going to be able to see i'm so sorry i'm my daughter in the background people are going to see you winning and you're finally going to get there but you have to do what your mentor tells you. You can't take what your mentor is telling you as a negative thing. You have to understand that your mentor wants to push you uh, outside of your comfort zone to help you grow. They're not there to be rude or to be like, push you and make you embarrassed or anything like that. They want to see you grow. And the only way that you're going to fail is if you give up. So you have to stay consistent. Consistency is the biggest thing. If you're consistent, you're going to win in this business. There's no way for you to fail unless you give up. But you have to constantly post value to other people and you can't go into witness protection when you join this business. You have to still share your life. Let people that were friends with you before your business not just see everything about your business, but let them see what your family's doing. How are you growing and, you know, and then throw in, you know, things that are winning for you from being in this industry but also you have to remember that you have to personally develop your brain just like when you go to school to get a higher education you have to personally develop because the law of the lid if you've never heard of that type it in google it'll tell you the law of the lid is real you cannot grow in your business higher than the knowledge that you have so you have to always be a student and in this industry, it's lots of puzzle pieces that fit together. 
So you can't just spend all of your time, you know, recruiting or you can't spend all of your time in personal development. You have to take the things that you learn and you have to put them in use. So, you know, if you just spend all of your time recruiting people, you're, you're like the, um, what is that guy's name? The swimmer, but you're swimming with just one arm. So you're just going to constantly go in circles all the time. Whereas if you personally develop and then you're going to recruit and then you're going to help other people grow, you're swimming with both arms. So stop using just, stop wasting your time on just one thing thinking that you're going to grow because you're not. And you have to remember that people buy from who they like, they like, know, and trust. And what better way is that going to happen than going live? Because you can't fake who you are in front of a camera. You have to also communicate with people, talk to people. Don't People aren't going to come to you um, all the time just to buy a product that you have just because you posted about it one time. But there are some people that will literally post about their product and they'll be like, I didn't get any sales. You didn't talk to anybody. You have to talk to people. Not only do you have to talk to people now, but you have to talk to people every single day. Like, I literally probably talk to at least 50 people a day, sometimes more than that. But you have to step out of your comfort zone. You have to stop living in a microwave society, expecting things to fall in your lap, expecting people to come to you because it doesn't work like that. People don't come on Facebook to buy things. People don't come uh, they come here to decompress, to find happiness or joy or whatever the case may be. Here lately, there's too many political things and I try to stay away from that. But another thing is, is when you're in this business, you have to remember that stop treating people like a number. You have to, you have to, um, understand that people stay where they're loved, they're appreciated, they're valued. And, you know, I, in my last business, like my upline was a very good person. Like I loved her, but I didn't feel appreciated. Um, I, I felt like a paycheck, you know, and I, I love her to pieces. Don't get me wrong. She's a, an amazing person, but you have to feel important. You have to feel like you mean something to somebody. And I didn't. So when you're in this business, you have to remember to treat people like they're somebody and not just a number. Hey, Stephanie. Hey, Margaret. How are you? Oh, thanks. I appreciate that. So I hope you're getting some value from this. I, I mean, I have more things, of course, but um, hey, Amy, how are you? Um, but I want to remind you that when you join this business, you have to follow the systems that your coach has in place. If you don't follow it, like for instance, a DMO, if you don't follow it, you don't know where you're going. It's like going in the dark with no map, no flashlight, and you're just wandering around the woods and you're not sure what's gonna, going on. So follow your DMO or follow your systems, something. But always remember your success is up to you. It's never up to your upline. You can't blame your failures on somebody else. You can't blame them on your upline. You can't, um, your upline can't post for you. Your upline can't prospect for you. They can't do your TikToks. They can't post on Instagram. They can't post on Facebook. They can't go live for you. Your success is up to you. And accountability is the key. And if you're not getting the results that you want, you have to pivot because something that you're doing is not working. And you have to understand that sometimes you have to check yourself. And I've had to do this multiple times and I still do. Um, you have to check yourself because you can be like, oh, just like in weight loss, I'm not losing any weight. That product doesn't work. Does the product not work or is your fork overworking or are you not moving your body? You know, you have to stop blaming people and normally look in the mirror at who's in front of you and looking back at you and what it is that you should be doing. Mm -hmm. This is a very easy business. It really is. But some people make it so difficult. And you have to remember that you have to ask questions. Don't be afraid. Like they say, a closed mouth don't get fed. Hey, Jackie, how are you beautiful? A closed mouth don't get fed. 
And when you want advice and somebody gives it to you, you have to take it. Don't say, uh, mm, I don't want to do that. Mm, no, mm -mm. that's out of my comfort zone or, oh, no, because that's your mentor. Your mentor has laid a path. Your mentor is somebody that's had success and they've got the path and they got the keys to the success. So if they're telling you what they did, that's how they got to where they are. So you have to take that information that you asked for that they gave you and implement it because they are only, they don't have to tell you what they did to be successful, but they did to help you. And you can, you got to remember, you can say that you're doing the work but your results lie in what work you did. So if you're not getting the results, it's because you're not doing the work that you're saying that you're doing. So you can't cheat anybody but yourself in that if you're lying. And your future is in your hands and only you can control it. And you know, you hear a lot of people say, well, what is your why? But it's not always about what is your why. You have to also think about you might not have a why. You know, a lot of people with children and husbands, like their family is their why, but some people don't have that. So sometimes you have to look at the fact of, it may be, a I don't have a why, but I have a why not. Like, I don't want to go back to looking for money underneath the couch cushions to pay for gas, or I don't want to go to the food bank anymore to pay for food. You want to say, I don't want to live paycheck to paycheck. You know, you sometimes don't have a why, but you may have a why not. And there's no wrong way to do this business, but as long as you're taking action, you have to take action and you have to do it. And a lot of people will say, oh, come join my business. It's so easy. It's so easy. But honestly, it's network marketing. You have to work. The more you work, the more luck you have and the more you will have. And, you know, I wanted to go live because I really wanted to share these few tips with you for new people coming in because it's not always easy. It's hard. There's going to be times that you want to give up, It's but it's so worth it. And to know, I was so scared to jump from my last company to the current company that I'm with because I was scared. I was terrified. I was comfortable. I was comfortable at my position. I wasn't happy, but I was comfortable. That was what was comfortable to me. And, you know, my husband, while all of this is going on, my husband left his job because we're trying to start a trucking company. And we're trying to do that. And then we're forking out money for that. And then here I go and I'm like, oh my God, I'm going to change companies right dead in the middle of this. How is this going to work? If it fails, who, how are we going to pay our bills? You know, like, but sometimes you have to understand that it, God has a plan. It's going to all work out. He's not going to let you fail as long as you're giving it all that you have. And that as long as you put your bet on yourself and know that no matter what you can win, like you're going to have success, but you have to do the steps and, you know, find you a mentor that has this, had the success that you want and follow them, mimic them. There's people online that I've, well, I actually have talked to them because I actually have the balls and I reach out to them. Like my husband be like, dang, you reach out to them. I mean, these people are like multi-million dollar earners. I don't care. I'm going to send you a message because I want to be where you are. You know, I want to take advice from somebody I want to change bank accounts with. So think of it like that. So I hope you all got some value from this. If you did, please click the share button. And I'm so sorry for my little one. She must finish her snack and she's ready for me to come and get her. So I hope you all have a great day and I look forward to talking to you soon.